So today we're going to take a look at the magnetic field around a wire carrying an electric current. So, if we have the wire, here, and the battery, here, this is a battery, which is the positive end and which is the negative end of the battery. The negative end is always shown by the short line, so this is the negative end, or the negative terminal, and the positive terminal. In that case, which way will conventional current be flowing? Conventional current will be flowing towards the negative end in this direction. So that is conventional current which always flows to the negative end of the battery of course electrons which actually flow flow to the positive end of the battery if we put the wire through a card like this we have a card And on the card, we place a compass, we would see that the compass needle will be in this direction, from south on this side, to north here. So this is a compass. And we can see from this the direction of the field. The field lines would lead the northern end, so it will be going around this way, right around the wire. We could place the compass in other places on the wire, but the direction of the field would be, in this case, looking down on the card, it would be anti-clockwise. But remember it's that the field leaves the north end of the compass. So now we can have a rule for field direction. Once again, we're going to take a wire and conventional current direction is up and what we do is we point our thumb towards the direction of the conventional current, so in the same direction as the conventional current to our thumb, and we curl our fingers around the wire, like this. Fingers curl around the wire. And you can see that the direction of the thumb is in the direction of the conventional current. The curl of the fingers will now show us the direction of the magnetic field. So the direction of the magnetic field around this wire is like this. 
is in the same direction as the curled fingers. This is the magnetic field. This is normally called the right hand grip rule for field direction. So we call this the right hand grip rule for field direction.